Uh, hey, Sexy J, quick and dirty time on a boundary question on the Digital SAT because you guys asked for it. And as always, these questions are from the SATCrashCourse.com. And good news, guys, if you guys use the code STUDYJ, all caps, now you get 20% off. It was 10% before, so that's pretty good news, right? Okay, so let's look at this question, guys. This is a boundary question and a little bit of recap. What is boundary? That just means you're dealing with, are these complete sentences, incomplete sentences? Are they fragments? Things like that. Pretty much, should I finish a sentence here, start a new one, or do they belong together? We belong together, guys, you and I, right? So, sorry, I don't know, I just said that. I went to a wedding yesterday, that's why. Anyway, so you look here, guys. Um, they do a lot of traps, okay, with semicolons. This is a pattern that I've noticed on the digital SAT. They did not do this as much on the paper. Traps with semicolons. What does that mean? We have a lot of stuff like here, right? See? They like pretend their sentences, okay? But they're not. So a lot of people, when they see these things, they're like, oh, this is a boundary question. I know it's a boundary question because I see a semicolon. Everybody thinks, okay, I'm going to try to figure out how to connect these sentences together because that used to be the common pattern on the paper SAT. However, on the digital SAT, a lot more common is these are not separate sentences. It was actually just one sentence. There was no run on. There was no error like that. Okay. So at the heart of it, if you guys were not thinking of it, you guys would have done a very, you know, easy time. You guys would have had an easy time solving this. Just look here. For example, they designed some, some smaller symbols, pair the downside symbols and rigged them. So that's, what is that? They did a thing did a thing and they did a thing whatever okay so even though the Khan academy and college board they are labeling this as a boundary question is actually just a list one two comma list or one comma two comma and that's it so the semicolon here is just here to throw you off so i'm gonna take that out and i'm gonna take that out okay so don't get tricked, guys. Just because I see semicolons doesn't necessarily mean I have a run-on sentence going on, okay? So this has happened pretty often. It's just a regular sentence. I didn't actually need a lot of fixing, okay? So just go with like the regular punctuation. Oh, what do you do when there's a list? Item one, comma, item two, comma, and. And you always need that extra comma. So the answer here is B. It's just a list, okay? So that's it. So the actual grammar here is pretty simple, okay? Don't get misled by the fact that College Board made boundary a whole category on um, Khan Academy. I don't know why they did that. Honestly, they don't even have that many questions on the actual test. Actually, I do know why they did that, because they want you to get things wrong. But I want you guys to get things right. That's why you're watching this video, okay? So that's another boundary question. I will do a bunch of these because there are a lot of questions that look like boundary, but are trying to trick you. So that'll probably be the next one as well, okay? Let me know in the comments, as always, what you guys want to see, learn, study next. See you guys next time. Study every day with Sex J. That's the best way. Y'all already know. Bye-bye.